These tough times, people across the country are still giving us reasons to smile this morning. And none other than Wake Up Charlotte's Ruby Durham join us now with some of the positive, uplifting stories that we all like to start our day with. Ruby. Hey, Ben, good morning. Yes, we all just need a time to smile and just feel full. Well, I tell you, after looking up some of the stories for this segment, definitely felt full about how the way the community is just coming together. So let's take a look at the Sandbox. It's a local nonprofit supporting families of children who have been diagnosed with cancer, celebrating its 10th year anniversary in a big way. Volunteers with the nonprofit spending time at the Lakewood Care Center by standing outside with signs and costumes, spreading love and encouragement to seniors who may be feeling a little lonely as as nursing homes nationwide are locking down and banning visitors to keep residents safe in response to COVID-19. All right, our second story this morning, retail workers also getting a lot of love from the community. A Charlotte company called Theory House went to the Harris Teeter at the shops at Blakeney with t-shirts and banners to thank all of the retail workers who are working so hard during the coronavirus pandemic. The marketing agency that supports retailers and brands says this act was just a small way to recognize the sacrifice being made by across the country by workers keeping Americans from keeping shelf stock to operating pharmacies. Theory House has also activated a social campaign using the hashtag, hashtag retail responders. All right, with schools closed due to the pandemic, teachers are missing their students' faces. So to help spread some cheer, some CMS teachers are finding new and safe ways to stay connected to students while practicing social distancing. Students who attend Polo Ridge Elementary got the chance to wave to their teachers and say hello during a pony parade, all while keeping a safe distance. And a warehouse manager for Classroom Central going above and beyond for children affected by the virus. This is Daryl Young. He was spotted dropping off hygiene kits to the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office to distribute to nearly 170 CMS students who are temporarily living in motels. Ben, if that doesn't put a smile on your face this morning, I just don't know what will. I know. I think we're getting a little all caught up in some of the news of the day and for good reason. And so we need to keep in mind that some of our neighbors, I mean, these are all local stories we're talking about here. Some of our neighbors are, are doing some really good things uh, to make sure um, we keep smiles on our faces. All right. Robes, thanks.